Hi, my name is Mikhail Fitri. Hi, and my name is Nana Bilavet Norbi. Hi, my name is Muhammad Ashraf bin Masran. And hi, my name is Muhammad Alif Ayman bin Harazi. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And salam sejahtera. We are from group, uh, The Secret Group, and today we will be presenting our 3D skeleton, skeleton model project. This presentation is part of our anatomy and physiology of human movement, uh, human movement course under the guidance of Dr. Noraini Binti Mansur. The main purpose of this project is to design and build a 3D model that represents the human skeletal system. Through this project, we are expected to understand the structure, function, and importance of the skeletal system in supporting the human body. Our group has created a simple but detailed 3D model that includes the main bone of the human skeleton, such as the skull, ribcage, spine, pelvis, and limbs. We also use labeling and color coding to make the part clearer and easier to explain. In this presentation, we will explain three main parts. First, the material and process used to create the model. Second, the identification of skeletal part and finally the importance of the skeletal system to human movement let's begin our presentation for our 3d skeleton model we used several materials that are simple and easy to find among them are a plastic skeleton base black foam board color markers labeling tags glue and a hot glue gun these materials were chosen because they are lightweight, durable, and suitable for educational display. Okay, we begin the construction process by preparing the black baseboard. The purpose of using a white skeleton model to stand out clearly during the presentation. Next, we position the skeletal model in the center and securing firmly using glue to ensure stability. After that, we label each main bone using small text. We wrote the name of the bones such as the skull, clavulate, ribs, pelvis, femur, and vertebrae. Each label helps the audience to easily identify and understand the structures of the human skeletal system. Finally, we add a short written description next to the model to show the main function of the skeletal system, such as support, protection, movement and blood cell production. Overall, our group worked together to design, assemble and present the model to represent the human skeletal system in a clear and creative way. The skull and neck form the uppermost part of the human skeleton. The skull is made up of 22 bones divided into two main groups, the cranial bones and the facial bones. The cranial bones protect the brain while the facial bones shape the face and form the structure of the jaws. Important cranial bones include the frontal bone, the parietal bone, the occipital bone, and the temporal bones. The facial bones include the maxilla, the mandible, and the zygomatic bones. Additionally, there is a small bone in the neck called the hyoid bone, which is unique because it does not connect directly to any other bone. It serves as an attachment point for tongue muscles and assists in swallowing. The neck also, in, also contains seven cervical vertebrae that supports the skull and allow head movements such as nodding and rotation. The first two vertebrae, known as, the, uh, known as atlas and axis, are especially important for head movement. The atlas supports the skull while the axis allows the rotation of the head. The vertebral column and the and thoracic cage make up the central axis of the body. The vertebral column or spine consists of 
33 vertebrae arranged in 5 ranges, 7 cervical, 12 thoracic, 5 lumbar, 5 sacral, and 4 coccygeal. It provides support for the body weights, protects the spinal cord, and maintains posture. The thoracic vertebrae are connected to the ribs, while the lumbar region provides strength and flexibility to the lower back. The thoracic cage includes 12 pairs of of ribs and the stand-up. The first seven pairs are called true ribs because they attach directly to the stand-up, while the next three are false ribs and the last two pairs are floating ribs since they are not directly connected to the stand-up. The thoracic cage functions to protect vital organs such as heart and lungs as well as to assist in breathing by expanding and contracting during inhalation and exhalation. The upper limbs bones consists of the shoulder girder, arm, forearm and hand. The shoulder girder is made up of two bones, the clavicle and the scapula. These bones connect the upper limbs to the axial skeleton and allow a wide range of shoulder movement. The arm contains a single long bone called the humerus which extends from the shoulder to the elbow. It enables actions such as lifting, rotating and bending the arm. The forearm consists of two bones the radius and ulna. The radius is located, located on the thumb side and the ulna on the little finger side. Together, they allow rotational movement like turning the palm up or down, moving faster down the wrist and hand are made up couple, metacouple and phalanges. These structures give the human hand exceptional dexterity and precision enabling actions such as gripping, writing and manipulating objects. The lower limb include the pelvic girdle, thigh, leg, ankle and foot. The pelvic girdle consists of three fused bones, the ilium, ischium and pubis, forming the pelvis. This structure support the weight of the upper body when standing or walking and protect internal organ such as bladder and reproductive organ. Below the pelvis lies the femur, the longest and the strongest bone in the human body, connecting the hip joint to the knee. The femur plays a major role in supporting body weight and enabling movement like walking, running and jumping. The leg contains two bones the tibia and fibula. The tibia is larger and bears most of the body weight while the fibula provides stability and muscle attachment. The ankle and foot are made up of tarsal, metatarsal and phalanges. Together, this bone enable balance, movement and shock absorption while walking or standing upright. In conclusion, the skeletal system plays a very important role in the human body. It provides support, protects internal organs, allows movement, and produces blood cells. Without the skeletal system, the body would not have any shape or stability. Through this project, our group has gained a deeper understanding of how the skeletal system works together with other systems such as the muscular and nervous system to enable human movement. This model also helps us visualize the location and connection of each bone more clearly. This project taught us teamwork, creativity and problem-solving skills. We learned how to design, label and present anatomical information in simple an effective way that support learning. Lastly, we would like to express our sincere appreciation to Dr. Noraini Benti Manso 
for her guidance and support throughout this project. Thank, Thank you, you for watching our presentation. We hope you, hope you enjoy learning about the skeleton system with us. Bye! Bye.